find the product of two conjugate binomials. So we did do the process of multiplying two binomials in another video, so please check out that video if you're interested. Here we're going to provide a shortcut that you can remember that will shorten the work in this one particular form, where the first parts are the same, the second parts are the same, and they are separated by one by a minus and one by a plus sign. So if you're fortunate and you happen to get it in exactly the same type of form, then the answer to the problem is going to be the first thing, the thing that's in front of the plus and the minus, squared, subtracted by the thing that's after the plus and minus, namely the 7, squared. Essentially the reason for this is the first term is going to come from here, the 2y times the 2y, and the last term is going to come from here, from the 7 times the 7, and the fact that 1 is plus and 1 is minus means that when you multiply these two pieces out, they're going to cancel. So at any rate, that means the final answer for this problem, once we uh, multiply out and simplify, is let's see, 2 times 2 is 4, y times y is y squared, so there's in the first place, and then 7 times 7 is just 49. So the final answer, all told, is 4y squared minus 49. Let's try another example here then. In the second example, we have first term or first part of the binomial in both cases being a 2z, the second part being the number 2, and so the answer to this is going to be, well, 2 times 2 is 4, z times z is z squared, and 2 times 2 is again 4. So the final answer here would be 4z squared minus 4. Okay, one more problem. Let's try to do this one. Um, I will, uh, why don't we pause the video, I won't pause the video, you pause the video, try this on your own on some scratch paper, or even mentally if you want, and then see if you get the same answer as I do when I work it out. So assuming you gave it a shot here, notice that the first piece is 3, which is going to be squared, minus, the second part's a little bit more work this time, it's an xz, and that's being squared. So 3 squared, 3 times 3, that's 9, and xz times xz is minus x squared z squared, because there's two copies of x and two copies of z, essentially a distributive property for exponentiation through multiplication. So hopefully you got the same answer of 9 minus x squared z squared.